everything was going great. Um, I was looking out the window and just looking at the lights and uh, um, we were coming in for the landing and as we were coming down I remember it being a really sharp, a lot of sharp turns, a lot more unusual than I was expecting um, and used to have experiencing when coming in for a landing. Um, and then as we were coming in, um, he straightened out and it, it, everything seemed great and then um, and then it just came really rumble and it was louder and more rough landing than I've ever experienced. I'm like, this is different. This is, I mean, I didn't know I was in danger, so I wasn't like scared or anything, but, um, um, and then after the really abrupt landing and you could hear like just all the noise, um, the cabin was filled with um, small burning rubber. Um, I remember that. And then after that, um, we just sat there, and that's when I knew something was wrong. Because I mean, it looked—I couldn't see the end of the runway, but it looked like there wasn't any room to move or turn around. Because normally they'd keep on going, then I'd turn around and like prepare to like get closer to the building. But he didn't move; he just sat there. And so um, I'm like, "What's happening?" And we were there for like 10 minutes, and he's like, "I'm sorry, I made a mistake. We're actually not at the Branson Airport. We're at the Clark County Airport." And um, so then we ended up sort of like just not knowing what's happening they're doing like um, great customer service trying to keep us all happy um, and uh, we sat there for like an hour and a half two hours before we were able to get off on a bus no, I, I, I think it's still safe and I'm not really scared to fly I mean obviously you always that comes to the back of your mind whenever you get into that but really flying isn't any less safe than driving it's just more rare so when it happens it becomes bigger um, and it was just not as he was a mistake. I mean, and he did it really well. Um, he landed it with skill, and I think I was there. I mean, he obviously had everything work out well. So. Um, they definitely held everything under control, and I know the pilot, um, he did a pilot apologize, and he took the responsibility, and he did everything he could, even though he knew he was in, like, under the heat. He, he took and did protocol, he, he took care of us, and he made sure everyone was safe. Um, he didn't do anything rush, like rash, or just, he, he, he kept his head um, during the whole time. Um, they gave us all water again, um, and they gave us more peanuts, um, and they tried to answer the questions we had, and just uh, talk with us and get dialogue going. Um, I know there's a guy a pilot coming down for training because it was a it was a two part flight to Dallas, um, and he he got up and helped just talk with people and just sort of give information he knew. Um, he couldn't answer a lot of questions because he didn't really. Sh a lot of people weren't sure what was happening or what the next steps were. He didn't want to say anything before they knew for sure. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not really sure how the incident came about. I'm not sure if there was tower to airplane communication and if that should be more um, like part of code to have that communication with the airport um, or just maybe, I mean it was an honest mistake, they're so close together. He hadn't flown into the airport before I heard, um, so I was naive to how much of a situation it was. I thought it was oh simple. Um, and then not until after we got on the buses and back to the airport and even back down at the campus that I found out, whoa, that was actually like could have turned into a really bad situation fast if um, but the whole time out I, I mean everyone else was joking around in the cabin. It was really lighthearted mid. Nobody was some people were joking about like um, compensation and all that, but um, maybe a little upset underneath, but they didn't show it. Um, but everyone was just joking around and smiling. I know that a bus could fit in front of it, and I've heard like 100, 200 feet. I know you could see the airplane, people said you could see the airplane from the uh, highway.